and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Last week I posted a video on how to sew a homemade face mask. That tutorial used elastic and since then I have had hundreds and hundreds of requests for a tutorial on how to sew a face mask using fabric ties. A lot of you can't find elastic and so this is a great alternative. You can also use ribbon. Before we get started on this tutorial, I want to make sure that it's very clear you cannot use these masks to protect yourself from catching a respiratory illness. You can use them if you have someone who is sick in your home. They can wear the mask and it can help them from spreading germs via coughing or sneezing and hospitals all over our country are also asking that people sew and donate these types of masks for their staff. Their staff is wearing these masks over the top of their N95 masks to help make those masks last a little bit longer. So if you have any questions about these masks or the material or anything like that, I will put a link to the CDC website below this video where you can find out more information. We are going to be using 100% cotton fabric today. It is extremely easy to wash and sterilize. The other tip I want to give you is to put two different colors on your mask. That way you can tell which side has been against your face and which side has been exposed to the elements. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. For this project, you're gonna need three pieces of 100% cotton fabric. I've got one print for the side that goes next to your face, one print for lining, and then one for the outside. They are six inches by nine inches. You will also need four strips for your fabric ties. These are one and a half inches wide by approximately 18 to 20 inches long. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a hair marker, or just a pencil or a pen or something you can use to poke out the corners when we're turning it. And then you'll also want some pins or clips. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our straps and we're going to do all four the same way and you're just going to take one of the edges and press it in approximately one quarter of an inch just like that. And then we're going to take the long edges and fold them toward the center so that they meet in the middle and we're going to press down this whole strip like that. And I just get it started and then just kind of keep pressing it in with my fingers as I go. Next, we're going to take this whole thing and fold it in half one more time and press. So here's what the tie looks like up close. We've got this one edge folded in a quarter of an inch. That's going to be our finished edge. We folded the long edges in so they meet in the middle and then we fold it in half one more time to create our tie. Now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way down this open end to secure our tie. Make sure to back stitch once you get down here to your finished edge. Here are our finished ties and as you can see I just ran a stitch right down there. I double stitch on our finished edge and then the other edge is a raw edge. It's the one we did not fold over so just keep in mind which ones are your raw edges. Now we're ready to assemble our mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is take our lining piece and lay that down on my table. Then I'm going to take our outside fabric. This will be the one that goes away from your face and it is recommended to use two different color fabrics so you can keep track of which one is going outside and which one is near your face. So I'm doing the darker color for my outside fabric and then I'm going to take one of my straps with the raw edge lined up against the raw edge of our mask here and I'm going to pin it approximately a half an inch down from the top and then I'm just going to take the rest of it and kind of curl it up so it's out of my way. I'm going to take my next strap, do the exact same thing on the bottom corner over here. Again, lining up the raw edge and then just kind of folding this out of the way. If you need to, you could even use a little clip to kind of keep these out of your way for now. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side. Again, lining up the raw edge approximately a half an inch down. And again, the raw edge of this one, half inch in. Now the tricky part with the tie mask is just keeping all of these ties kind of out of your way while you're sewing. Um, I like to just kind of throw a clip in here. It'll pop out when we turn our mask right side out. Now we're going to take our lining piece and we're going to place it right side down on top of all of this. And we're just going to re-clip all of those four corners, making sure we have all three layers of fabric and our strap. Now we're going to take this whole thing over to our sewing machine and using a one quarter inch seam allowance we're going to sew all the way around the outside edge leaving a two and a half inch opening over here on one of the sides. Make sure to backstitch at your opening so it doesn't pull apart when you turn your mask. 
Also make sure to backstitch over your straps here. They're gonna have some tension on them and you want them to have a little bit of extra security. When you get to your first corner, leave your needle in the down position, raise your presser foot, turn it, and keep sewing. Here's what your project should be looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and take some scissors and just clip off these corners. Just be careful not to clip into your stitches. This will help make it a little bit easier to turn our mask right side out and get these corners poked out. Now we can go ahead and turn our mask right side out carefully. We can get rid of this clip now that was helping hold our straps. And you can finger press out the corners. I also suggest taking a hair marker or maybe a pin cap and just using that to kind of really push these corners out and flatten out these seams. Now we've got this one open side here. We're just gonna go ahead and finger press those edges in about a quarter of an inch. They should kind of fold that way naturally. I'm going to press my mask one more time just to make sure that all of our seams are nice and straight. Next I'm going to take my mask and I'm just gonna hang on to it with both sides here and I'm gonna fold it down so I have about an inch or so showing right here. And I'm going to clip that on both sides just so it's even. And what you're wanting for your finished product here is to be about three inches wide on the sides. So I'm gonna do that again. So we've got two folds in our mask. I've also seen people putting three folds. I think whatever works for you is fine. And now we're ready to sew. Just for measurements, I folded mine so it's approximately three inches high on both sides. And then I'm gonna press it one more time just to keep everything in place. Then we're gonna take this over to our sewing machine and sew all the way around these edges. I sew about an eighth of an inch or so around, making sure that we close up our opening on this side. So here's our finished mask. As you can see, that was very easy. And you can use these fabric tie strips like I showed in the video. You can also use ribbon. I've also seen people using stretchy t-shirt material. If you're gonna use a ribbon or something like that that might fray, I would just suggest doing a little zigzag stitch on the raw edge here so that it doesn't fray and come apart. That way it will last longer between multiple washings. I also wanna point out these are reusable but must be sanitized and washed in between each use. I've also added a free printable PDF. I have linked that in the description box right below this video. So you can download a printable um, version of this pattern. That way when you're sewing, you don't have to refer back to the video. There's also information for child size masks in that download as well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun tutorials for you. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you next time.